Whenever you start working on heavier fabric, like a denim, make sure you put a denim needle in, and I always lengthen my stitch length, well, probably about to 3.0. It really makes the stitch more defined, and then it also lets my fabric kind of get pulled through a little bit easier. Now you'll notice that when I go to stitch, I can easily stitch through multiple layers. I can get lots of uh, stitching done through here, but what I want to do is show you how to use the multi-purpose tool to get up and over a jeans hem. So just by stitching two rows, that kind of gave that, that area a little bit thicker look. Now, as I turn this up, what I'm going to do is, it's very common, people want to stitch from this side of the jeans. But keep in mind that when they say top stitching, it's because top stitching actually does look better from the Ta-da, top. All right, so longer stitch length. And that's so when I get up to this thicker area, I'm not having to push it through. The machine will actually take it through for me. The other thing that I'm gonna do is set the needle to stop in the down position. Now, when I get to the down position, honestly, I could probably just go right up and over this, no problem. But let me show you how this tool works. So let's say this, this seam is super thick and you're getting hung up on that edge. What you can do is lift up the presser foot, slide the tool underneath and up to the seam. So it kind of stops way back here. But what it does is it levels out the foot. So then, as it's stitching across the top part and about ready to come down the other side, you can move that to the front and then the stitches, the, the foot really has all nice even pressure all the way down or over that really thick seam. Let's see how the stitches look. So what you're gonna notice is if you've ever had where you have little tiny stitches coming up to that or long stitches as you come off of it, now you have perfect even stitches all the way down, no matter if you're going up or over. Use this tool. Now you've noticed that on one side, I use the thinner side on this one, but on the other side here, it's thicker. So if you really had a super thick seam, uh, you can decide which side to lift with it as it comes over the top and then catch it as it comes over the front side of that seam. It really makes life easy. Remember, the key is having the IDT engaged lengthening and lengthening out your stitch length.